Haiti, Port-au-Prince. Almost two years after the earthquake, about 550,000 people are still living in tents. Hurricane Thomas and a cholera epidemic that began over a year ago have also been devastating. Wesner too went through hard times. After the earthquake, his mother got very sick. His father could not take care of him and brought him to SOS children's villages. Today, the 12-year-old boy shares his life with nine other children and his SOS mother, Andrena. Every day, Wesner goes to the SOS Hermann Gmeiner School in Santo. Access to education is one of the key elements of the reconstruction and rehabilitation program of SOS Children's Villages in Haiti. Before the earthquake, around 500 children attended this school. Now, there are 1,200. Wesner likes school and is a good pupil. Dans l'école SOS là, moi aimer les mettre là pour expliquer nos leçons et les et les chaque les non pas comprendre, il est toujours là pour l'expliquer nous. Parce que jouer c'est football, mais moi mais je football. SOS Children's Villages also constructs and renovates public and community schools like the one in Santo and four schools in Lekaï. They'll be run by the state or the communities. The NGO also plans to create a training center for teachers with teaching methods that are being developed in collaboration with the University of Port-au-Prince. Dans notre système à nous, c'est un système où c'est le maître qui fait tout. Donc maintenant avec la on veut approcher la nouvelle philosophie de l'éducation des SOS où c'est l'enfant qui est au centre de sa formation. In the two years since the earthquake, the NGO has taken a total of over 500 children into the SOS Children's Village in Santo. Like Wesner, these are boys and girls whose relatives either perished or went missing in the disaster, or whose families are not in a position to look after them. Before the earthquake, SOS Children's Villages had already been helping over 4,000 children through a variety of social programs in Port-au-Prince and in cap -Hatier. Today there are up to twice as many. For the youngest children, SOS Children's Villages runs a social center in Santo and community centers. The boys and girls are provided with basic necessities and games activities. Currently, about 2,700 children receive hot meals daily prepared by members of the community. For aider les enfants, SOS également Pense à appuyer les familles, à aider les familles, afin qu'ils arrivent à prendre en charge leurs enfants. Parce que les familles haïtiennes les plus défavorisées n'arrivent pas à donner un plat chaud à leurs enfants par jour. In the social center and the community centers, adults can take part in courses to improve literacy, general education, hygiene, and other skills. Marietta Richard is a mother of two young children. She regularly takes part in these activities. They represent a great change because I learn to live together, I learn to live with people, and I learn more about the people. The Relief and Reconstruction Program in Haiti is one of the largest aid projects ever carried out by SOS Children's Villages in a single country. For children like Wesner, this is a glimmer of hope for a better future. Comme travail, l'aime grand moins tant aimé à la première professeur dans l'école SOS. SOS Children's Villages is committed to improving the overall living conditions and future prospects of the children of Haiti.